Okay, here we have a new definition to the 2020 code, and that is for dormitory unit. You can see that everything here is yellow underlined text, which is my way of showing that this is all new language in the code book. So a dormitory unit, when we first think about a dormitory unit, I think most people, myself included, automatically assume that we're talking about uh, where college kids live. And certainly those are dormitories usually. But the definition is much, much more broad than just living facilities at a campus. Let's take a look. It's a building or a portion of a building with sleeping accommodations for more than 16 people that are not related. Now, I live in Utah, so that can get kind of, you know, weird. But, you know, <laughs> more, than, more than 16 people that aren't related in one or more rooms that are closely associated. And the facility is under single management and the rooms do not contain individual cooking facilities. All right, so certainly college you know, student housing would meet that definition. You've got more than 16 people, they're not related to each other, the individual rooms do not have individual cooking facilities, and the facility is under single management. And that's what we're looking at here. This is actually up at the University of Utah, and this is where, uh, this is student housing, but they also had the uh, 2002 Winter Olympics. This is where the uh, the athletes' living quarters were. So those are dormitories. But a day room in a jail would also be a dormitory, wouldn't it? And in fact, the jail cells would be individual dormitory units. Probably not the first thing that, that jumps into mind when you think of a dormitory as a jail or a prison, but those actually are dormitories, right? You got more than 16 people, they're not related, the individual cells don't have individual cooking facilities, and the facility's under single management. It's a dormitory. Uh, a firehouse might be another good example. If the firehouse is large enough that you've got more than 16 people, and assuming the firefighters aren't you know, related to each other, uh, usually what you'll have in a fire station is individual sleeping quarters, and then a large communal kitchen, a communal kind of living room and bathrooms, things like that. So that would be another example of a dormitory unit. So when you think of a dormitory unit, uh, don't just shut your brain off and think that we're just talking about student housing, because again, the definition uh, applies to many, many more things than just that. Be sure to like, follow, subscribe, and ring the bell.